Shulini TV News from the campus Hello and welcome to the weekly Shuni TV bulletin. I am Nandini bringing you the 93rd edition of the bulletin with the latest news from the campus. First, the headlines. Shuni University campus reopens for all the students after 2 years. Golden Rudraksh awards for outstanding faculty and staff members. National Science Day seminar organized under the name of Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. MOU signed with Autonomous University of Madrid for student exchange. And now the news in details. The university campus opened for all the students after a long gap of about 2 years. Shagun will tell us more about the reopening of campus for UG and PG students across all the semesters. Go ahead Shagun. Shuli University welcomed UG and PG students from all semesters for offline classes from February 28. With this ended the long wait by teachers and students for offline classes. To mark the occasion an event called Back to Campus was organized. for the students coming back to the university a theatrical play on cv raman along with singing dancing and nati dance was also performed by the students from different clubs the physical classes started on february 28 and will end in the month of july since the students are back on campus Mock cultural fest and sports competitions are in cards for students on the months of March and April. Thank you Shagun. Now we move on to the news where university facilitated the outstanding faculty and staff. Sparsh had the details. The Shuni University has organized the Golden Rudraksh Awards 2022 for all faculty and staff across the university. The awards has been instituted to recognize the outstanding faculty and staff members. The award winners are selected through an independent process which includes the combination of students' votes, e-uni analytics and the executive votes. Professor Saurav Kulshreshtha, Dean of Research and Development, received the award for best leadership. Dr. Pankaj Kumar Chauhan, Associate Professor at the School of Bioengineering and Food Technology. received the golden rudraksh award for best faculty dr aman raj singh suri won the shulni teaching companion award whereas dr pradeep kumar received the eu new star performer 2022 award mish anshul won the award for best staff in non teaching category the prize distribution ceremony was attended by chancellor professor pk khosla president of the foundation mrs saroj khosla and the pro chancellor mr vishal anand who felicitated and congratulated the winners in the ratan tata hall of university thank you sparsh the awards must be really inspiring for everyone so moving on we have abdul with the reports of national science day shuri university's faculty of science hosted a national science day under azadi ka amrit mahotsav as part of a program supported by department of science and technology students and faculty members of six primary schools from solan shimla and kasoli were present during the program chancellor professor p k khosla inaugurated the event and emphasized the importance of scientific journals and research publications vice chancellor professor atul khosla discussed future skills and elaborated on the value of teamwork and shared his college day experiences registrar dr sunil puri dean student welfare mrs poona nanda dr ashu khosla professor kuldeep chandroje and dr anuradha suri raj were among those present at the event and launched 
the microbiology cabinet by microbiology society of india thank you abdul it was a privilege for the university to host this event moving on we have ashutosh with the next report Sulini University signed a memorandum of understanding with the Autonomous University of Madrid, Spain to encourage exchange programs between the two universities for exchange of doctoral students and faculty members from both the institutions. The signing of the MOU between Sulini University and the Autonomous University of Madrid will encourage more contact and collaborations among the faculty and research members in order to lay a solid foundation for the development of joint training programs, joint research projects and the exchange of teaching materials. Thank you Ashutosh. That's all for this week. We'll see you next Friday with more news from the campus. Till then, stay safe and stay connected.